L.A., Detroit even. I mean, Detroit. I mean, they had the choir. But North Point, and, and the, what I love about her, she was a, willing to admit it. <laughs> she was, hey. No. Come on up here, Iman. How are you doing? Is this brothers? Have a seat. Yes, we are uh, Best live on the radio. We're going to have you talk right into this one. Hello. So, uh, whew, you caught your breath yet? Yes. You were you were here what about a month ago on the radio, and literally you were leaving. I think the uh, within a couple of days, and you've been there up until just recently, right? Oh yeah, I mean it's nice to be back. Nice to be back. Did, have you gone and see the horses yet? Not yet. I I hope to go, but I miss them. <laughs> you missed. Them. Okay. Well, good. Um, so let's talk about uh, your expose or your your trip out to Hollywood. Um, <laughs> you know, there were weeks that you were not performing. Yes. So what did you do during those weeks? Rehearsals. <laughs> Rehearsals. All the time. I mean, we would hang out with. Like, we just hang backstage some days, you know, maybe work on music a little bit. Go out to eat at this one Italian restaurant way too much, probably. <laughs> you know? Was and it good? It was. Was good. it better than any Italian restaurant you had here in Northport? <laughs> probably because they always had a big table reserved for us. We Don't had, ever be scared to tell the truth. <laughs> they always had a big table reserved for us in the back, so we would all go and then we'd eat. They had the best lasagna. Best lasagna. So you like lasagna? Um, I guess, but it was really good. Okay. What else did you? Now I saw you go to, uh, you know, Disney World a little, of oh, Disneyland, I guess. Yes. Uh, were you able to go with the family, or was that more or less with AGT also? Oh no, we went with some family and friends. I I really liked Disneyland. Did you? Mm -hmm. It was for me. It was a little bit more quiet. It was less like tons of people. Than oh really? World. Than Disney World. Oh. Because that has a lot of people. <laughs> right. And their new Star Wars thing was really really cool. Really cool. Yeah, are you a big Star Wars fan? No. <laughs> <laughs> but it was still cool. It was, it was, right? cool. It was yeah, still cool. It's realistic. Okay, so we know that you have a, a voice coach, and we yes. know that coach is in uh, Australia. She's well, Australian. She's Australian. 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 But she was in Hollywood with her. No, no, no. We um, she did we uh, she did not come with us. So they, they do have voice coaches at okay. um, AGT. Do you want to come up here, Megan? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm the size to come up and, and, okay. and talk. Um, it's the first they, time she's ever done it. Well, hey. yeah. She never takes pictures or anything. So. Well, she, well, come on now. We saw her a lot on AGT. On AGT, they, they're like, they have the cameras in your faces. They're like. <laughs> well, I know, but you love that, don't you? Uh, uh, <laughs> it, it, she doesn't mind it. I don't mind it. Well, yeah, and you didn't, you know, you were so composed. I think that's the thing that just surprises most people. I mean, you are 11 now, yes. right? I love, I love being 11. I feel, I feel so old. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you know, you're not. <laughs> so we'll just set that straight right now. Um, but, you know, you were, you were just so composed. You know, you were out in front of, now how, how many people sat in that theater? Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred, and has is that the largest crowd you've ever performed in front of? No, we. Uh, no, no, she when yeah. she was seven, she did the national anthem down in um, uh, for the Stone Crabs. Was it the Stone? No, it wasn't the Stone Crabs. It was uh, the That's Port Charlotte. Okay. Stadium. Stone Crabs. And um, it was not the Stone Crabs playing. It was too, oh, okay. uh, It was a Rams. spring training game, Rams. but uh, that was ten thousand. Right. So, and that was. And you, I saw, I saw videos of that. Yes. Oh. And absolutely killed it. Uh -huh. Thank you. I don't I think all I remember it was really hot. It was really hot that day. It was hot. It was hot. Do you kind of just fade I mean, you know, cuz we have some performers here that uh, get up on stage and and have and you know, I'm usually behind this camera and you know, this kind of freaks me out just having this many people here. But um, you know, did you do you just kind of block it out and just say I'm just doing my best? I 
do try my best, but I just go with the flow. I mean, for me, you gotta remember every little thing about it because you only get to do it once, and you know, it was. But you did great. it so perfect every time. <laughs> she, is that just? She only. Really, she really is. Um, you know, the the thing is that. Um, Backstage for all the rounds, the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and then also the finals. Mm -hmm. Iman was like the AGT cheerleader. Ooh. Because most of the other acts get actually pretty nervous. And so you start the day and everyone's nerves are going crazy. And Iman's going around giving everybody hugs, give, tell him, you guys don't worry about it. And they're like, how is she not nervous? And she just, she does not get nervous. And she would, she was literally like the AGT cheerleader. Because, I mean, she's going up to adults and saying, Why are you, don't worry about it. I saw your rehearsal. You were so great. You're going to kill it. Da, 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 da. You know, like, and it was, that for me was really special because, um, oh, yeah. It, I mean, I, I I don't understand how because I don't understand how she doesn't get nervous because mm. any of the times that she was performing, I'm backstage, you know, almost vomiting. <laughs> like, I can't do this. And, and and I grandma. Yeah. But um, she only really gets nervous about I would say about one minute before she goes on the stage, and she's like, oh, "What's the first line? Uh, what's the first word?" And then, but that's not bad. I mean, one yeah. minute of nerves is really not much to complain oh. about. Yes. No, uh, Except for what was that round where I felt really sick? Oh, she did get. She was, um, but that's okay. We were gonna. I was actually sick. She was actually sick. For oh, what round? The final round. Right. She was sick, but she did a great job. Yeah. Now, how was it to? Did you know of this Ling Ling fellow um, before? That I, I guess he's supposedly the well, world's not, greatest pianist. Not really. We only met him the day of when we were supposed to perform. Oh, really? Yeah. We only found out the song that she was supposed to perform the day of that. It was very, wow. it was very um, quick. But um, and you had to learn the whole. Did you know the song? I knew the song, but we kind of just had to critique it. And even Simon Cowell came back to stage and said, "We're all just gonna have fun because this is the last day we get to perform on the stage." And you know, I think that was that that round. Was How wrong was is Count Simon? That's not going to be the last day you ever do. Because <laughs> I understand you ha are are about to go back out on the road. We we have lots of things going oh, on. Mommy. Are you allowed to talk about any of them? Nothing. <laughs> but we have lots of exciting stuff going on. Um, but we're gonna um, we gotta we gotta have uh, we gotta have everything like signed and sealed up before right. we can really talk about it. But lots of exciting stuff. Lots and, of exciting um, stuff. We hope that uh, this will be the beginning of a very long career, and we hope that she'll have many more opportunities to, you know. So I want to talk to brothers fun. back there. Did, did y'all have fun? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you still a little sister to them? Uh, I'm well, big sister to your little brother, but are you still? I mean, you don't put on airs with anybody else. Do you do it with your brothers? I wouldn't say little little sister. I'd be like. They they are they're very normal. They act like children. They fight. They I mean the, the boys could probably not give care two cents about what she does on stage. They don't. They enjoyed being out in L.A. Right. But, they got special. But they weren't. They what were, was that? <laughs> they weren't particularly impressed with her with her on AGT. They're just like yeah it's okay yeah. whatever. They were, they were happy to go to L.A. for a month. That was really fun for them. We got a lot of fun experiences out there. Had you ever? Is, no, that is you. You're watching yourself on. Yeah, and there's the camera right yeah. there. It's so just, camera. just say hey. You, <laughs> now you get to see big cameras, and you, you, you're forever famous. You know what? One of the things, and this is just my opinion. Now, would we have loved to see you win? Absolutely. But I think you probably got the most out of that experience because now you're world renowned. Yeah, I mean, there's probably a few places in this world that you could go, and they, they won't say. Oh my God! You're the one with the great voice. <laughs> so does that make you nervous at all? Like you're going to be walking down the streets of Paris and they're going to be going, "Whoa!" I'll just wear my uh, two wigs because I like I. Oh, you wear wigs? I, no, it's just because I like having fun. I got them up for like a dress-up party or something. Right. I'll just be like, fake blonde wig that looks really unrealistic. <laughs> And then I'll, just, I'll wear disguise. Trish. <laughs> but, but that was, that was one of the one of the cool things about AGT was, um, you know, we don't manage her. She doesn't do social media, and I don't do it. But my husband does the social media, and he'll tell us all the time. He's like, I'm getting messages from Zimbabwe and uh, Iran and France and Portugal and you know South America, and it's it's really cool to think that there's people all over the world that were involved oh. in this experience with us and supporting her and cheering for her. And right. That is, it's bizarre to think that somebody 
you know, all the way in the middle of nowhere knows who she is. Absolutely. Which is really cool. Now, there was a friend of mine that uh, comes on our show quite often. His name's Gip Pool, and he was happened to be on a celebrity cruise, and, and he just got back the other day, but for two of your shows, right? And that was the semifinals and the finals. And he wasn't allowed to vote because he won when he was in Canada. So they don't allow people outside of the American? Correct. Okay. They don't. They so do. the Even though you're an American? <laughs> it doesn't matter um, because there's lots of ways using like VPN and there's other ways that people get around these, you know, outside of America ways. But AGT actually has, um, they have these systems that prevent people that are not actually in America vote, from voting. Okay. So they know, even if, you know, I know a lot of people talked about there was a group called Via Unbeatable, the amazing Indian dance troupe, and they had a lot of support from India, but um, unfortunately those votes don't count. It's okay, but it's a thought that counts. Yes, absolutely. Was not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, I'll let the secret out of the bag now that uh, Trish and I had uh, went and uh, developed like 25 more email accounts. And <laughs> Thank you. Well, those are allowed. Those are, go for it. Thank I you. got tired. And we were over 100. I got tired. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we were we were just voting and we were telling everybody you can do it for all your email accounts. So. Well, thank you. You guys got her to finals, and that's that for us was a win. We just wanted we you get a for the rest of her life she gets to say she was an America's Got Talent finalist, which is, you know, we found out from someone there that there that this year there were seventy seven thousand people that auditioned oh, for the wow. show this, just this year, just this year seventy seven thousand. So tough to you are, it, What's the percentage? Is that top 1.1111? 1. 1, 1, 1, 1? Something. I don't know. But that's pretty. We're very proud of her, and especially because she she did sing operas that were not well known. And right. she sang songs that most people have never heard. And so uh, to make it to the finals and singing things that were maybe possibly called obscure um, is even more impressive. So we're very proud of that. She what? I never knew this was your true talent. What? Radio? Being on the radio. Yeah, you're so like well spoken. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get it from somewhere. Now we know where she got it from. Yeah. I've, I've, been, I've been watching you for I've been watching you for a long time. I'm picking up your skills. Absolutely. <laughs> you trained me. Well, you know, and and you know, you're welcome to come back anytime you're here in the area because I know you're going to be on the world tour here soon. Oh, um, we're going to be here. So we're, uh, gonna be, oh, we're basing out of here. So it's getting fun. Our boys are starting school. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try. One again. day. Try it in school. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> that would be that's next year for my oldest. Yeah. Year. Oh, Bobcats, go Bobcats! All right, so listen. The day they announced was your eleventh birthday. Yes, that was the best eleventh birthday I have ever had because. <laughs> You got I to know. eat a bunch of Dunkin' Donuts, didn't you? Yes. And blow out candles that didn't blow out. That was actually really weird. Don't roll out, because everybody else would love that. What's so weird about it? Even Terry Crews tried to blow it out. Literally, <laughs> nobody could blow out the candle, and they had no no idea how to throw it away, the candle away. Okay. So, <laughs> I had to blow it out like five times for the shot. I think it was a perfect candle, candle if you're filming, because it turns off for 10 seconds and you can restart it. Right. But, oof, that candle. <laughs> <laughs> did you go eat Italian food afterwards? We did have Italian food. We did have Italian food. Oh, uh, yeah? And we had cake. What kind? Vanilla. Okay. So, Mom, I want you to keep talking because, uh... Hello. How are you doing, We actually Mom? have some things for her. I'm doing good. Because How are you, Ethan? There you go. Keep it going. Hi, thank you. There you go. I actually don't have hats. Ah! Ah! Don't, Dad, it's not going nowhere. Wow. That's cool. Let me see what it says. Hey, that's when you go oh, out and then you come. Oh, it's Tommy Grounds. It's from here. That's really cool. What does it say? It says, um, Lauren Heights, Where I Belong. Oh, that's lovely. Ooh, lots of new music to listen to. Who are these people? This is Ellen Buxtell. Um, These are all cello. people who performed here at Common Oh, that's really cool. We love listening to the new music. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. That's, cool. that's really cool. You guys? <laughs> <laughs> Salt, no, no, salted caramel oh. gelato. <laughs> Happy birthday. So now y'all sing. Oh. Oh. And I 
promise these uh, will blow out if we yes. hurry. <laughs> now, can I light the candle? Maybe these ha candles won't light up. Uh, might won't. Yeah. Well, there you go. You got me on that one. All right. So, on the count, yes. Flowers are your from your friends in North Pole. All of this is excellent. Do you really smell good? Mm. Well, what's your favorite color? Um, I would go with. I'm thinking. <laughs> okay. I like turquoise. I like peachy pink. And then I like what is that other color? I like white. White. Hibiscus. What's hibiscus? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a pink, no. uh, a pinky color. And, and it's what guys tell everybody whenever they wear pink shirts is it's not really pink, it's hibiscus. <laughs> okay. So when my dad wears pink, I'll just tell everybody that yeah, it's wearing... hibiscus. Hibiscus. All right, like so uh, th we actually have the top and everything uh, to take this home because I know you want to share it with your brothers. Yes. I, I see my and it's vanilla. <laughs> And, and you can you can go like that if you're only. <laughs> <laughs> I you know and I found out that at, before every performance you eat a thing of vanilla icing. We have to do it after because then I'll sound really bad. What? Yeah. yeah after yeah. after um, every performance literally they try to get us into the room and I'm stuffing frosting like two more bites two more bites. Yeah. We're like, wait, no interviews. She has to have some frosting, please. And they're like, really? And they didn't believe us. And look, we really showed up with the cans of frosting. And they're like, really? That wasn't a joke. And we're like, no, she really eats frosting after she performs. It's like her, it's like her big prize for getting through the thing. There you go. It's really pretty. Yes, absolutely. So what did uh, what did you did you have a cake for your birthday out there? Uh, yes, we did. Okay. I forgot who got the Vanilla. cake. Who got the cake? Your, your grandma. It wasn't as good as Publix cakes. That's all I'm gonna say. Publix oh. got the best. Publix got the best cakes. Okay. Well, that's from Publix. <laughs> <laughs> I only get the best. We'll look at this later. We'll look at this. Yeah. This is beautiful. Look at this. So, what are your plans for the next? I mean, do you get any kind of break? Are, are you gonna just kind of uh, relax and and are you singing at all? Like since you've been home, have you raised your voice and sing and song? Probably just walking around the house, but apart from that, no. This is this is kind of the break time. Okay. Yeah, she starts up again actually tomorrow. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in, the, in the break time. <laughs> <laughs> but the, it's just very. But now we just have. It's just mainly maintaining because what happens is you. Uh, she builds up like a lot of strength in her diaphragm. Right. So right now we just want to maintain the strength that she's built up and not um, to go backwards. And so I want to know something. You, when you sing, it's like your lips don't move. Mm. I mean, it's not mm. like you're... It's you're huh? It's well, I, I mean, it doesn't look like you're... And I don't know, understand Italian, so maybe Italians don't, lips don't no, move. No, it's but it's like, you know, I can typically read lips pretty well, because I can't hear very well. So, but, and then I'm going, well, what is it that she's saying? And it's just like so, sounds are coming out of your mouth that were just like... How is she doing that without moving her lips? <laughs> I'll just I'll just start talking like this. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> See, totally. You, yeah, she can sing with it. She can sing like that. Oh. Yes, you can. I can sing a little bit, but anything with B's and M's, I can't. Yeah. yeah. B's and M's. B's like, and M's. What are you gonna sing tomorrow? Anything with your lips. Okay. Uh, if she'll just start practicing again, we just start working with her vocal coach, and then we uh, we have to we're, we're traveling on Friday, but then we're right back again, and then we're here for a little bit, and then we travel again. But um, nothing nothing as crazy as AGT. That stress that, that stress of singing nonstop for a month was a lot. So but now she's had a whole um, she will have had a whole week off by tomorrow. So right, got to have a listen. You, you just keep getting stuff. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. What is this? It says, it says live, your live your dreams. Dream. Live your dream. Are you living your dream? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, and I didn't realize 
I, and I was a little disappointed, but I guess, you know, for you, you'd still be 51 and you'd be getting, you know, your, your annuity from AGT if you'd want. <laughs> but that's not like a million dollar gift right up front. I mean, it's at $25 per year. $25,000. Okay. I'd be like, $25. $25,000. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, no, but you can, get, you can get it all at once, but it won't be a million, or you can get $25,000 a year that adds up to a million. Right. For 40 years, yeah. For 40 yeah. years. Yeah, but see, the tax on 25000 is a lot less than the tax on half a million. Oh, it's, I think it's more like uh, 250000 Oh, is that all? Yeah. But with, uh, wow. unfortunately, we didn't have to make that choice. Right. But yeah. we're uh, we're hoping that, uh, that it'll be a lot more. Well, we hope that this is the beginning of a great career, and um, the, we hope so. Yeah. And she loves doing it, so we hope we can keep feeding that love and let her keep doing what she loves to do. And we, our goal was our goal was never uh, to be completely honest. Like we, um, our goal is. You know, back whenever Cody Lee's audition came out, whenever that was, I think in June, we're like, okay, well, there's no chance you're going to win the show. <laughs> no, there's zero chance you're going to win because it, he's, he is a phenomenal person. And he's a phenomenal person even when you meet him. His mother, his brother, his dad, they're all lovely, lovely people. Right. And, I mean, everyone that was there for the final show, we all knew he was going to win. Everyone. Which, um, which almost made it kind of nice because every, no one, no one... No one expected to win because we all knew there's it's a thousand percent for sure he's going to win, which is great, and he deserved it because he really is amazing. But um, the uh, but that I think that almost made it more fun because yeah. all the rest of us didn't feel like we were you know the competition was already over because we made it to finals, and the great thing was to make it to finals because there was competition to make it to finals. But. You know, he was, he was, did you he even know amazing. there was a common? I'm so sorry, man. Okay. You go ahead. No, no, I was, I was, we, but we really liked him, and he's a really, really nice person. We, it could not have happened to a nicer person. Well, and it seemed like a lot of those people were very genuine. Okay. Uh, I mean, getting to know him, were there any prima donnas? Mm, no, every. I mean, everybody was just. By the end of it, we had spent so much time with so many of the people and their families that they, we all felt like friends. It was. Uh, that was the only sad part was that if we like, now we now miss everybody. Yeah. 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 Katie Oh, that'd that. be that's cute. It should go with my high top converse. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, we're here talking with Iman Bisha. She that was, was really AGT finalist and Northport resident. And she is getting ready to go out on the road. I am so excited for you. I'm excited too. Yeah. So uh, let me fun. ask you. I gotta ask you this: How many hours of schooling did you do in that month? Zero. <laughs> that was like an extended summertime, wasn't it? It was. It was. We, but le uh, legitimately, we don't usually start school in September because okay. usually our routine is we're happy when everybody else goes back to school, and then we're doing stuff like let's go to the water park and be the only people there. Let's do all the fun things that all summer long has been so they've been so crowded. And right. then, you know that first month when everybody goes back to school, it's it's great to be a homeschooler. Let me tell you something, Trish and I thought that too, and we decided our our uh, uh, anniversary is like in October, right? And so we decided, hey, it would be a perfect time to go on a cruise. Kids are in school, you know. Wrong. We went on the week that is Columbus Day, and everybody up north gets out for a week in Columbus Day, and they were all on our cruise. We had like, literally. So you you are going to? Uh, are you? We don't have a water park yet. Is that a, is that a bad subject to be bringing <laughs> on the radio here in Northport? We're, you got a good things come to those who wait, right? That's right. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be worth waiting for. Now we can put this back in the freezer until you go home. We can just all eat it now. You could eat it. Do you want to? We should all eat it together, maybe. Huh? Oh well, I mean, you know, that's it's yours, so you do what that's what you want. But I know you're dying to tear into the vanilla icing, <laughs> right? I'm yeah. looking at her. <laughs> you have one little lick, one little finger, so you don't infect the cake. How about that? Well, we could get her a, a, a utensil, yeah, a and, and Bud's going to get you one here. You no, I am uh, I'm old fat man. I can't eat cake. <laughs> Anybody can have cake. Cake's, cake. Cake. You know, if I ate, cake is... if I ate a container of icing, yeah. Trish would have to pull me off of that roof because it would just make me. 
I mean, and you don't get any effect of eating all of that? Oh, no, she does. She does. <laughs> <laughs> the, the interviews that she usually does after she's had icing are usually a little bit more rambunctious, like all over the place. Like right. her, her eyes are <laughs> her eyes are dirty because it's a lot of sugar. But it's uh, it's it's her uh, routine. Okay. The, it's kind of like we're not gonna yeah. we're not gonna break that routine. So far, it's been really lucky for us, and um, so absolutely. Just, now, whenever you know, every time you performed, you would typically have a lot of, little intro, and they would show you out riding bikes and doing this. When did you shoot that? Oh, the reason that. What? Uh, we w they, those things were always shot like the week before, okay. which was how you stayed busy because you guys only see it as like a you maybe only when see it guys, as a when you guys forty five second segment. But how long would that take? It took like two hours. Two, three two hours. hours, an hour to get there. Hours and hours of going back and fixing the audio. It's like to get that good forty five seconds. Right. It's probably altogether like ten hours of a man working to get there. Um, but they were all really fun. It was and, um, really funny were, because. Um, no, that lap. Tell them about the last one you did. That was a beautiful one. That was my favorite. The one on the hillside. Did you actually go on the hill? Or was that all CG? Yeah, that was. I was actually on the hill. You were sitting on the it hill. Was now, the, it, it was. It was really cold. And you were in a summer the wind, dress. The wind was like. <laughs> yeah, but she was really brave, and she didn't. They were. They were so proud of her because they're like, she is so brave. She's. Uh, she kept. Yeah. Uh, she kept a positive attitude the whole time. But yeah, that was cold. You're gonna. I'm gonna take the the sword. <laughs> she learned there. something new out in California. <laughs> she did. Okay, do you want me to take these off, or do you want to take them and? Okay. <laughs> Was that worth it? Yes. <laughs> we are having cake. Who wants cake? <laughs> I want cake. Okay, we'll get two pieces. <laughs> the brothers want cake. Now those you've got to pull out too. So you will have happy. Where are we all going for dinner tonight, Mom? We're probably not going to get dinner. We need to eat it. We need to eat at home. We have eaten out in restaurants for thirty days. We've got to start. They need some more vegetables, maybe some. <laughs> what? There's not a lot of vegetables in in pasta. No. <laughs> No, we we need to start eating. We need to do a, about a week of not leaving the house. No what fast is your, food. What is your favorite home cooked food? <clears throat> I'm a terrible cook. <laughs> <laughs> I would go with uh, mensaf. No, no. Fasulia. Or beef stew. Beef stew. Or beef stew. There you go. And beef, now, but what not, are you going to have to But to be fair, it's not my beef stew, is it? Whose beef stew is it? Mamas. Mamas, yeah. Well, wait, and happy steak is really good. Happy steak? What is that? Well, happy's my grandfather, and he cooks the steak. Oh. So it's happy steak. <laughs> there you go. How many do you want your piece? Oh. Be generous. <laughs> Why don't you do this? No, no, no. You you cook you cut yourself a piece, and then I'll cut it up for everybody else. I like Okay, well, then it's yours, girl. Okay, I'm going to cut my brother's piece. It has okay. to be really big. <laughs> Is this for your big brother or your little brother? Little brother. Oh, okay. Okay, come on. I'm trying to think where the red rainbow starts. The red rainbow. Where is that rainbow coming? Oh, that's right up there. Oh, so are you used to all the lights of Hollywood now? He won't know anything. Just do it. <laughs> we'll just go like here. Brother, you don't know what's happening. <laughs> the cake has lost its clothes. Yeah, well, I think it's frozen. Wait, it is? I think Maybe it's, it's an ice cream cake. Well, is it an ice cream No, it should be. It's, it's a free layer. Cake. I definitely want mine for There. <laughs> I had it in the cooler, so it might have gotten a little too cool. Okay, I don't think it got frozen. Well, I can't do this. You can do it. All right. Brother, you're going to get you a piece of cake here. <laughs> I think cold frosting is the best. Cold frosting? Okay, well, then. Yeah, you're lucky. <laughs> well, you give him a little bit of extra. Okay. That's your cold frosting. Mm, okay. All right, so mm. give to brother. I'll take it down. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Who else wants a piece? Come on. Uh, I like to do the last pieces. 
What's that? Uh, who at house wants a piece? <laughs> We're cutting cake here on Southwest Florida Live with Iman Beach. Okay, you keep going, girl. Uh, yeah, you want to get a piece? You have Iman, you have a lot of friends now that you keep in contact with? I have two. Two? No, I'm talking that from, a from AGT. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have Benicio, I have uh, Destiny, and I have Carly. Uh, Benicio, it's Benicio. Carly and Destiny are from DYC. So, oh, I guess, okay. yeah. And they were they were really lovely because honestly, it's it's hard for her to be away from kids for right. a long period and the D, the the DYC kids were some of the girls were just so lovely to him and most and of them most of them were I mean all of them were really nice, but a we couple of them in in particular were just so sweet and they made it they made the experience of being there for a month a lot better for her. Oh yeah. Because then she she got to feel like she was a kid and hanging out with girls and having girl time and she needed that. Did you have that? Does the dog want some cake? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. He lifted up his head. He's like, yeah, I know he was. Yeah, I'm one of his things. I want to put this With her singing opera, that's a usually older ice cream? of people to sing to. Yes. You know, then you have, and a lot of people that are younger. Because uh, she, 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 she sings different genres. She does. Uh, and what's your favorite genre? What are you? Are you going to be singing the other genres? I'm sorry, Rich. I'm taking over because I was. No. Uh, okay. Rich is like, I Who else wanted cake? Everybody wants cake, right? You know. We'll just okay. hand it out. No, it's okay. Just Don't waste cake. Who wants cake? Would you like a piece? I might as well have a piece. Yes. Thank you very much. That was a perfect. And happy birthday. Thank you. So, Mom. Um, for genres, um, the. Um, Iman, did you did you like singing that Brian Adams one? I did. Everything I do, I do it for you. That's you. That's okay. yours. Okay. We we really that like that, and that was a new experiment that we mm -hmm. um, that we've never. Um, no, I don't. I don't eat cake. Thank you. Um, can You can eat it. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the um, and we I thought that was really touching, and it was nice for us that she was singing something that even if people had never heard the Italian version of that, right. hopefully you guys, when you heard it, you were like, oh, I recognize the melody. Yes. And um, learned a lot of calorie shocking. The, <laughs> and she loved that song. That was, I think the, that, was that your happiest performance was the Brian Adams one? I remember standing there and looking, looking out and just smiling, going, everything is in Italian. Yes. Cosacci, Cosacci people. That was the hardest Did y'all get cake? Back but that back. song, she she on um, the Brian it. Adams song, she yeah. only learned that song five days before she performed it. Oh. So that was a very long week of a lot of work, a lot of like just over and over and over because it was a very big song. I mean, it's two and a half minutes of Italian, and she'd never even heard it before five days before. So it was very, um, it was high, 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 high stress. Yes, literally, 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 literally before she walked on the stage for that perform for that performance, she was still going over the words. And she was like, "Okay, wait, what comes after that?" And we were like, "Okay." Our 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 um our biggest worry was that she would stop singing and be like, "I forgot the words," but she pulled it through. Is there anything better than a cake sandwich? Yeah. Very few things. A double cake sandwich. Oh, that's right. Well, let's make a double one. <laughs> How do you memorize your words? What, do, what kind of uh, formatting do you use? Do you use, um, um, listen to your, um, you tape it and listen to it over and over? Um, we write them down on paper and I just look at them and listen and look and listen and look and listen for them and look and listen and look and listen. Mm -hmm. So you learned that one song, the last song, Not that the, day? No, um, the last song, Conte Partiera, she actually has known that song. Oh. That was a song she learned for my birthday when she was seven. So she's always known that song, but the arrangement that Long Long played was something new that we had to figure out. And um, and he's a, he's a phenomenal pianist. Oh, I mean, yes. he's amazing. Like, he, he sat down there and he's just like... You know, they're like, do this, do that. I mean, ooh, his fingers are so fast. Um, but did you see the look on his face when he saw her? He was he was really lovely, and um, as famous as he is, and as successful as he is, and he's he's very successful. Um, and he was so kind to play for her, um, which means that like when he was playing, he was really le he wasn't the one like leading it and being like, you keep up with me. He was really watching her and helping her. To That's what his face was like. To, helping her to do as good of a performance as she could have right. and it was I mean for me that was phenomenal that he was so kind to do that because uh, he could have just been like well I'm the famous musician here I'm the one that's you know performed all over for every president for everything and 
he was so kind to play for her and to, well, to let her you know sh to let her have a moment to shine and not just be showing off which was really nice of him yeah. really really it was really special his expressions was amazement when he, he likes cake her. i guess yes yeah. he was he was really he was and backstage he was such a nice guy i mean um even and, on stage yeah we were not expecting him to be as nice and he was <laughs> extremely nice extremely friendly and um it was Shoes. a pleasure they, to work with him did he ask to work with her we don't know how that came about but simon maybe we, we don't know they, they, did, don't, they was, don't tell us much did he win like a, a contest out or has he just always been that good? Um, he was a child prodigy as well and uh, did oh, win some yeah. major competitions. In, in China, he won major competitions, but he's been successfully playing piano for at least, I think, about 15 years. That's your ice cream. And um, has performed with so many people, so many places. And it was really an honor that they invited him. And Tyler and Amon together, that would be pretty awesome. That would be awesome. We still are on the radio, so hopefully you can hear the whole conversation. <laughs> We're eating cake and having happy birthday celebration with Iman. Oh, yeah. You are no longer the 10-year-old now. You're the 11-year-old prodigy. There he is. Brother, come here and talk to us. I hear you're uh, the uh, golf prodigy. What? The what? He, plays, he does play pretty good golf. He's, he's pretty good. But he's, he's our swimmer. He's our best swimmer. A swimmer prodigy. Swimmer prodigy. Swimmer, and he's really he, smart. He, he's I was swimming kind of since I was like a baby almost. Oh, yeah? He's really smart. I'm and the only one in my family that likes water. He loves water. He, he loves drinking it. it. He loves eating it. You don't like <laughs> water? I like water, but he loves water. <laughs> no, like, I like swimming in water. They think, like, maybe if it's like nice temperature but when we, and it's a little bit cold they think it's freezing but actually i think cold is more refreshing yeah it is refreshing <laughs> right better. yep trish doesn't go in unless it's 90. yeah that's that's, that's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> and what's great about him is and it's gotten him. down to 80 and she said no well, I'm, I'm done for the year <laughs> what's it called jojo can swim all he wants because he's got the best skin as you can tell he can be like a superman i just go like he doesn't. He doesn't get sunburned for some he has, reason. Yeah, he, he has nothing on his face. No, but he, he's like he's, uh, he, he has, and he's got he, that he, great hair. You know, thing, for a guy that's losing all of his, that's, yeah. that's, that makes me. The only bad thing about my skin is I have uh, warts. Like this. <laughs> I have. Well, that's that's a good subject to talk about. <laughs> He does not have warts anymore. They're all gone. <laughs> like I think he played. He played with too many frogs. He was playing with frogs. Yeah. What? I thought he played with lizards. Lizard? Any of those? Oh yeah, we all played with lizards in our block. Yeah. Uh, like we. Uh, all of us. Mommy's like, stop talking about like, reptiles. Okay, no more talk about warts and lizards. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, I want to go We're gonna have to him on just for the. I mean, Could that would be. Did you? What you? What well, you can no, talk? No, you. I don't want to embarrass him. No, but he's a, he he was on the they were all on the Northport swim team, but he did really well. He did really well. He likes it. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful thing. Yeah. He he tried to collect the whole set at McDonald's of that, and um. It's both. So my, you're not even it's allowed. It's my heart. Oh. When I get when I found mm -hmm. out it was gone. Yeah, because you know, they had they were giving away toys and McDonald's Happy Meals for right. the Lion King, and we got almost all of them except for I think one. We don't even we don't even eat that much McDonald's, but we had to keep going because we were trying to build the set. And there, there. You'd go there and be like, "Can we just take the toy from here? Take, we'll just like buy the meal, take the toy, and leave the meal." Wow. Yeah. Toy well, it's probably the healthiest thing you did it's all a, day. It's a Lion King <laughs> series at McDonald's. Yeah, which one's he missing? Um, what are you missing? Now, do you want? Uh, what, you're not allowed to tell us where you're leaving you to go things? travel to, then, right? Uh, I don't know. You can say where you're going. You just can't say what you're doing. I have at least. We are going. Mommy, I have at least something except. Yeah, yeah. We're going to New York. Woo! Uh, New York City! Broadway! For, for one day. Just for one day. We're get there and we're leaving. Broadway. No, 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 no,
We go on Friday. It's just, oh. it's just a, we gotta just run yeah, up there, and then we come back. And it's on contract. But we don't know what we're doing up there, but um, no, it's not, it's not Broadway. We're gonna, you know, we, don't, we don't quite think that Broadway is right, just the right fit, just right now. Right. But. Are you a dancer too? Yes. You I'm a dancer. Dance? So you're going to be the, the triple threat here, right? <laughs> you can act. Oh, there's a gentleman here in this audience that said they are doing a movie in oh, yeah. Port Charlotte. Oh, that it is a horror comedy. Yeah, I'm good. Horror comedy. I'm good on horror. Anything that has horror in it. It's supposed to be funny. I don't know. Well, see, I mean, I think you could you could sing it, and and they would uh, all the evil spirits would leave. I'm scared of the moon. <laughs> That's right. So, how many more minutes do we need to do? Five minutes. Is that Rick back there? No. Oh gosh, I can't see back there. Oh no, that's Jill. Jill is doing our production. Thank you, Jill. It, it is like that shining light. I can't even see who's back there. Um, all right. So listen, you gonna come back? Yes. And keep us informed. I like conversations. I love conversations. That's what I do one hour every day. And I like to converse with people because you know what? People don't like to hear me just talk. <laughs> but yet I will. I'll talk. Hours. If nobody is here i'll just talk i literally i was we were walking in our neighborhood and we we passed by this guy and he started just talking about the scooters and stuff and i had like a 10 minute long conversation with him and i just kept talking and talking and he's like please can i be okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> did you were you making sense and his then talking to him yeah, yeah. we're talking about jojo no. Jojo. When do you start your guitar lesson? We gotta, we gotta start this. We're, we gotta start soon. The rock box. No, we're, yes. we're, we've missed going over there. We were gonna. I think maybe we'll start. Maybe we'll start this week. We gotta talk to. Um, we gotta talk to them, make sure they can still fit us in their schedule. Because I know they're busy, but I hope they still have a little. Space oh, did you hear what, what they were doing while you were gone? We heard they, they, they did some great supportive stuff. Yes. And I, I actually need to. I wanted to go visit Angel because we mm -hmm. were really grateful that they were so supportive. And they went and, and dove with the sharks. Oh, oh that's they, right. Did they survive? <laughs> well, they're back. <laughs> I have not witnessed that they lost any long arms or legs, but uh, right now they're survival. Good. That's and great. they went and they took made a really cool, and you really, it's on Facebook, I think, or YouTube, uh, they made a, a movie, a little video of it. Oh, and they put in some sweat. really cool, you know, because he used to play with all these bands. Oh, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, Cybergeist. Team Cybergeist, I think, is the name of their band now. Angel's Band, way back when he was not just the teacher and owned this company. And, you know, he actually has a show here, too. He does, oh, that's right. Because she, she, you were on the uh, show. But you yeah. just did it there. You yeah. didn't do it here. He's got his own recording. Oh, yeah. Studio. Yeah, I, I listened to that. Yeah. I was thinking, I'm like going back into my mind. I don't remember doing it with him here. I no, feel you like didn't do it. It's been like five years. I feel like I'm now like really old. <laughs> I feel like just being like at AGT for that time was like, I feel like it was ages. Well, you know, it was a month. And we're so happy that you had a, a great month. And let me tell you yeah. something. I, I say it again. I think you took, without winning it, I mean, you, you are known all over the world now. And, and I just hope you uh, enjoy the ride, because it's going to be a ride. We yeah, really it's going to be an e-ticket. We were really, really proud of her. We, I think, you know, uh, I'm excited. The, I'm excited. We were, the most proud of her we were is how composed she was always on stage. And that, on stage. Um, <laughs> but on stage, she made, she kept it, she kept her, you know, she kept her composure, and we were right. just so proud of how well she, you know, kept it together because um, when you're on that stage and you're going through all these different things it's, it's quite stressful and it's uh and i know if you guys watched it you can see a lot of times where she almost cried but she made don't blink, well, don't, blink my tears. don't blink don't blink you made me cry yeah <laughs> i mean i was sitting at home bawling like a little baby <laughs> I, I, I cannot stuff. imagine being up there in front of all those people because you're very you're very expressive in your singing and, and, you know, I think that's what draws you to people is because you you really live that song every time you see them sing it. I would say, yes, I would say I, I live the song every time I sing it. Just cause I, probably because I love each and every song so much. 
Well, it shows, darling. What are you talking about what makes me think of the songs? Like. Uh, no. <laughs> well, you know, and guess what? Northport is very proud of you. You know, there's, there's, uh, I'm thinking, what purpose would it be for her to, to claim that she, I mean, Sarasota, everybody knows Sarasota. So you could have easily gone up there and said, I'm from Sarasota, and nobody would have questioned it. But you said you were from Northport. Do you know how it makes that, how proud that makes a bus? Because it's like somebody admits they're from Northport. <laughs> no, I, th I don't think you guys realize how nice Northport really is. Like, oh, I know. I, I, I love being in California, but there's the uh, the life in Northport's quite charmed. Literally, I mean, California. My aunt got chased by one of those characters on the street. Oh my goodness. No, but it's just it's just such a beautiful place to live. I mean, the trees, even the al I even like see we even like seeing like alligators. The alligators. Just, we don't mind them. They need their own personal. Business. Yes, we love it's a uh, personal space. It's a well, very special place to live, and it's a great place to keep coming back to. And yes. because there's uh, nothing quite like Northport when you when you want to come back and you want to take a deep breath and you want to you know remember. Absolutely. It's a great well. Place listen, to I just want to thank you for coming in and sharing your journey with us a little bit, and thank you. It's fun. we're we're living vicariously through Iman Bisha. <laughs> All right, so we will be uh, back tomorrow, Wednesday, 3 o'clock. I don't know who's going to be in here, but I'll have somebody, or I'll be talking about myself. You've been listening to SWFL live here on WKDW 97.5 FM with Miss 11-year-old Iman Bisha. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye. Tell everybody on Facebook. Mom's been on it the whole time. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> I'll never watch that. Never, never, never. Thank you, Rich. Oh, absolutely. I'm so sorry we were.